This morning, promising signs in the fight against COVID-19. Massachusetts-based drug maker Moderna says the vaccine it's working on induced antibody responses in all phase one trial participants, including Jennifer Haller. I'm very encouraged by these results. I think it, it shows that, that they're on the right track with this vaccine. And it's also really exciting that there are many other vaccine trials going on right now all across the world. The trial included 45 healthy adults. Each received two vaccinations, 28 days apart, at one of three doses. The vaccine was generally well tolerated, but half of the participants experienced symptoms, including fatigue and muscle aches. The results were just published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The researchers say that after the second dose, all 45 participants developed neutralizing antibodies, the type needed to fight the virus. According to the study, the antibodies were at levels up to four times the amount found in patients who have recovered from COVID-19. Our vaccine generates neutralizing antibodies to levels that seem to be higher than what you get with a typical infection. And that's important because even if immunity wanes over time, the higher you start, the longer the runway until it wanes. But Dr. Anthony Fauci tempered expectations on Tuesday at a virtual forum hosted by Georgetown University. You should know that no vaccine is going to be 100% protective. What we hope is that with a combination of people having already been exposed and a vaccine that's anywhere from 70, 75% effective, that there will be enough herd immunity, that there will be a time when you and I don't have to worry about getting infected with this awful virus. For now, Moderna is aiming to enroll 30,000 adults in its phase three trial set to begin later this month. The Food and Drug Administration has said that any COVID vaccine needs to prevent illness or decrease the severity of it in 50% of people in order to be approved. Moderna says the company remains on track to be able to deliver approximately 500 million doses per year and possibly up to 1 billion doses per year beginning in 2021. I'm feeling much better about getting vaccine that's distributed not only within our own country, but that they'll be able to have doses for people throughout the world. So, Gabe, if all goes according to plan, when is the earliest a vaccine could be ready? And then how do you how do they plan on distributing it? Well, Savannah, Moderna's CEO says that distribution could begin as early as next year. And it could be some sort of tiered system where frontline workers and high-risk populations are given first priority. But, Savannah, we should mention Moderna is not without its critics. Some scientists had previously said that the fast-track nature of all this essentially amounted to science by press release. But, as I mentioned, now that these results, these early results have been published in a peer-reviewed medical journal, this is certainly starting to get a lot of attention, Savannah. All right, Gabe, thank you.